Hi everybody. So I just woke up. Um, we're standing in my industrial kitchen, uh, which today I have decided to put to use by uh, making a bagel. Uh, anyways, though, it is uh, 40 below outside. Um, and what I've decided to do today is to test uh, the warning that uh, I've gotten every single time that I've moved to Alaska, which is that under no circumstances at all are you supposed to put a bottle of alcohol outside for any given amount of time, bring it inside, and drink it. Uh, the reason is, of course, because alcohol is a lower freezing temperature. So when you uh, leave outside and become super cold and you go to drink it, uh, it instantaneously freezes your mouth and your esophagus, uh, giving you frostbite and eventually killing you. Um, this actually is known to happen in Alaska. Uh, it happens a few times a year. Uh, but what I thought we'd do is uh, I'd put a glass of vodka outside. Uh, we're going to wait for that to get real, real cold. And then uh, I'm going to go out and we're going to drop some water in it. Uh, and we're going to see what happens. We're going to see if it instantaneously freezes uh, like it's supposed to. Should be cool. I tried to do an experiment with vodka where if I dropped water into vodka just to see how quickly like the water would freeze. Um, unfortunately though, it looks like uh, vodka uh, freezes at 40 below and uh, just doesn't do anything. Here, here's another glass. Um, yeah, just, uh, you know, completely, completely frozen. But uh, there is hope. I do have uh, some Bacardi 151 that is still liquid right now. And uh, just to prove that it is 40 below, there's a shot at the thermometer. Alright guys, here we go. I'm going to drop uh, cold water into 40 below Bacardi 151. See what happens. Oh my god, it actually does freeze. Can you guys see that? Look at that. It's actually freezing into soup. Oh my god. Alright, I'm going to add a bit more. Oh. It's like syrup almost. The way that it flows. That's wicked. Oh. Alright guys, here we go. I'm going to drop uh, cold water into 40 below Bacardi 151. See what happens. Oh my god, it actually does freeze. You guys see that? Look at that. It's actually freezing into soup. Oh my god. Alright, I'm going to add a bit more. Oh, it's like syrup almost. The way that it flows. That's wicked. Oh. Alright, so here we go. Same experiment as before. Dropping water into Bacardi 151 at 40 below. But this time we're going to drop it in slower. We're going to use a quarter teaspoon here. And we're going to see if we can't get a really good shot of it. Just going to do a couple drops at a time. Look at that. It instantly freezes as soon as it hits that Bacardi. Look at that. Here, we'll do a bit more. All right, here, traffic coming. How about that? All right, so here we go. Same experiment as before. Dropping water into Bacardi 151 at 40 below. But this time we're going to drop it in slower. We're going to use a quarter teaspoon here. And we're going to see if we can't get a really good shot of it. Just going to do a couple drops at a time. Look at that. It instantly freezes as soon as it hits that Bacardi. Look at that. Here, we'll do a bit more. All right, here, traffic coming. How about that?
So I went inside and I watched some of the footage uh, from what we had and I looked back over and I noticed that these actually did not freeze over like I thought they would, like with the vodka that's over there. So, uh, you know, I came out and I actually went to stir it and something interesting happened when I stirred this one. Ooh. I don't know if you can see that. It's starting to get like trails and whisks in it. Isn't that strange? If you look, all the water froze on the bottom, which of course kind of makes sense when you think about it. I went inside and I watched some of the footage uh, from what we had and I looked back over and I noticed that these actually did not freeze over like I thought they would, like with the vodka that's over there. So, uh, you know, I came out and I actually went to stir it and something interesting happened when I stirred this one. I don't know if you can see that. It's starting to get like trails and whisks in it. Isn't that strange? If you look, all the water froze on the bottom. Which of course, kind of makes sense when you think about it. All right, so we're going to do this again because I noticed that the water did not. Uh, freeze over like I thought it would. I thought it would just ruin it and kind of like, you know, just make it into a soup. What we're going to do is we're going to do it again, but this time we're going to add a uh, blue dye to the water that we're adding, and we're going to see if we can't get any like really cool like weird trails of water in there. Yeah, yeah, you can see it. It's just kind of freezes. Look at that. Get a good close up. Look at that. It doesn't go anywhere once it hits that, that alcohol. Do it again. Look at that. It's like art. Some weird, weird stuff. again because I noticed that the water did not uh, freeze over like I thought it would. I thought it would just ruin it and kind of like, you know, just make it into a soup. What we're going to do is we're going to do it again, but this time we're going to add a uh, blue dye to the water that we're adding and we're going to see if we can't get any like really cool like weird trails of water in there. Yeah, you can see it. It's, it's kind of freezes. Look at that. Get a good close up. Look at that. It doesn't go anywhere once it hits that, that alcohol. Do it again. Look at that. It's like art. Some weird, weird stuff.
Okay, we're going to do this one more time. Except this time we're we're going to drop the Bacardi into a plate of water, uh, and we're going to see what happens then. And also, I'm going to do this very quickly so that the Bacardi doesn't get a chance to heat up uh, and just dissolve in the water. All right. So let's see what will happen. Well, it kind of froze the water a little bit before it got the chance to heat up and then just disperse throughout the water. Eh. Sort of exciting, I guess. Okay, we're going to do this one more time. Except this time we're, we're going to drop the Bacardi into a plate of water uh, and we're going to see what happens then. And also, I'm going to do this very quickly so that the Bacardi doesn't get a chance to heat up uh, and just dissolve in the water. Alright. So let's see what will happen. Well, it kind of froze the water a little bit before it got the chance to heat up and then just disperse throughout the water. Eh. Sort of exciting, I guess.